I don't think you're also going to find anybody to dump that salary off on either. Well, I don't know. I wouldn't say nobody. There's always the Yankees, remember? <laughs> but they're not going to do I'm that. I'm not saying they would. Judge. There's always the Yankees. They never thought there'd be a takeover of the Giancarlo Stanton deal, but there was. But, yeah, I'd find it hard unless the Red Sox do five years later. I'm just kidding, by the way. Mm-mm. Don't take me seriously on that. I know you will, but don't. Okay, but my point is you're right. These contracts are becoming more and more difficult to move without a doubt. And, and, and that's what we're talking about. But, the, but who would have thought, okay, that it, the Philadelphia Phillies would be 81 and 81 and the Washington Nationals are so close to going to the World Series? That, to me, was something I never saw coming, but it just goes to show you that the Nationals have done a super job in terms of developing their other players so they would end up finding other guys to pick up the slack. So, and, before we, and before we go, I just want to add this one line in there as well. Sure. We didn't see this coming, but kudos to the Washington Nationals. And a major kudos to them because it looked like they were tearing their team completely apart near right. the trade deadline last season. And Bryce Harper treated that organization all year last season like they really weren't good enough to have his services. So kudos to them. Oh, yeah. No, I tell you what. Uh, you know what? I can't stomach Bryce Harper. I can't. And you know what? A uh, good, I think Washington deep down in sizing, good riddance. So, before we let you off the air, okay, Xavier McKnight, as we always do, uh, why don't we have a preview of the real and rare tomorrow night here uh, on the South Florida Tribune Broadcasting Network? Yes, we're going to be talking a little of the Cleveland Browns tomorrow and how Baker Mayfield, when he made a mess of himself out there on the field, and then made, he made another mess of himself in his post game press conference. But, you know, we're going to take this to also another more serious topic tomorrow. We talk about a lot on The Real and The Rare, how we are a lot more than a sports show. Tomorrow our listeners are going to get a chance to really get a touch of that because we're going to be addressing mental health and its importance and, you know, letting everyone know out there that it's okay for you to go out there and get help and talk to others if you have to because it's so much going on in our world today. We're seeing so many suicides, so many murders. We're seeing just so many horrendous and terrible things that are taking place that, you know, we have a platform that we can use to address these issues and try to reach out and touch somebody if we can, and this is the time for us to do it right now. All right, well, with that said, great uh, observations, Xavier McKnight. I want to thank Louis Adio Weiss, as always, for being on the Sports Exchange and the rest of our guests. Uh, so you're tuning into the South Florida Tribune Broadcasting Network. Here uh, and don't and check out the website www.southfloridatribune.com. Lewis has a lot of great stories out there, good reads. So on behalf of our uh, all star guests lineup then tonight, that includes the likes of Barry Foot, Bill Winters, Xavier McKnight, Ryan Skullrood, Anthony Wood, Damon Knight. Uh, we want to wish you guys a great night, and we will see you on Thursday night here on the Sports Exchange on the South Florida Tribune Broadcasting Network. All right, have a good one, Xavier. Have a Take good care. Night. Thank you, Xavier. Good night, everyone.